Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for April 5th, 2022. Well, yesterday we had a pretty nice little rally. It kind of got off to a slow start yesterday, but eventually big tech won the day as everyone started to surge back into those growth names, really pushing some of those stocks up substantially. What does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, as you can see, we've got a pretty good price support through here in the chart holding on. And of course, we've broken that downtrend here as well. And um, I suggested yesterday what I'd really like to see is a little bit of consolidation here in the market. Now, we did rally up yesterday um, in the Dow, mostly led by big tech names but notice we kind of held in that little range here in um, the diamonds and this morning we're seeing just a little tiny pullback in here so it's possible I may get a little bit of what I want and that's a little bit of rest in here however we do have some things out there here today in the economic calendar that could move us around so we'll want to take a look at that here in just a moment so watching that closely notice if i were to draw a trend line up here that would suggest we still need um you know another week or so of rest in this range and if we could hold up here i gotta say that would i would have to give that to the bulls a hold in here would certainly show their willingness to defend and support the market despite the bond yield inversion and um, an aggressive fed probably likely on the way but they're holding in there pretty strongly let's take a look at the technicals in the chart and technicals uh, continue to show um, some nice improvement and a good opportunity for a hold notice right in here 34 ema 20 simple moving average crossing up through the 50 providing a range of price support here in the chart but we also have to realize that we have a pretty substantial range of price resistance above in this area that we're going to be challenged by so kind of keep that in mind we're kind of stuck between levels we'll see who um, which side um, actually wins the day here um, eventually let's take a look at our spy now SPY very much the same and it had a pretty good day yesterday a little hammer a little follow-through this right here this three candle pattern is a bullish morning star pattern now what's important is that we follow through with that pattern and notice once again we held some price support here in the chart so i got to give this up to the bulls now if i draw that trend in here that trend doesn't work very well that would suggest we would have to consolidate for a month and a half or more so we're going to have to use something else in here for that trend and i will say that we continue to be a bit overbought in the short term here in the market but big tech led the way here and that certainly helped the spy you'll want to keep in mind that we have a pretty substantial zone of resistance right up in here but at the same time, we have a pretty substantial zone of support right down through here. So keep a close eye on this. It really is going to depend on how we react to some of the news events and things out there. We have a light week really on news, but today we're going to get um, a lot of Fed speak out there that could shake things up just a little bit if those Fed members start to talk hawkish so watch that closely once again those technicals improving here notice our 34 ema and the 20 back up through the 50 we're holding above that 200 day um, i don't think we really turn into a major problem in here in this the um, spy unless we start to break back down through those levels that's where we would have some problems in the market but i would expect even if we do push down there there should at least be a hold or a pause right in here around that 50 
50. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Now, NASDAQ was where all the action was yesterday. And again, a bit of a morning star pattern in here. That morning star pattern is right off of a little price support in the chart. Now, keeping in mind, although we have that price support that we're showing in the chart, we still have a massive level of price resistance above here in this chart, as you can see. Though we could still rise a little bit more before we contact that level, we do have a little intermediate level of price resistance right in there that we'll want to keep an eye on. And um, we are also showing just that little teeny tiny hint of a pullback here this morning as those bond rates continue their inversion and, uh, you know, warning of potential um, uh, recession in the future here. So watch that closely. Once again, those technicals showing improvement, 34 EMA, 20 EMA, up through that 50 day moving average. We're still being challenged by that 50 day or 200 day moving average in here. So we'll want to watch that if we were to get a rejection up there, that would kind of be a double rejection at that point. That could be problematic and signal a test of the 50 down here, but we want to watch close. Then let's take a look at our Russell or IWM. Well, it just kind of danced around here yesterday, staying in a relatively tight consolidation. And as you can see, we've got a little resistance right in there. We got a little support right in there. And then up above here, we have a freakishly massive resistance that's nearly a year long. Um, that would be a tremendous challenge for any stock to push through. We'll need something special to get that going. And once again here, if we take a look at maybe some trend, I didn't draw that very well, but take a look at some trend right up through here, we may still be due some consolidating rest here in the Russell. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX had a nice little pullback yesterday. And once again, we're continuing to show that fear dropping out of the market. But I got to tell you with uh, some of the, uh, well, with the bond yield inversion, with the Fed going to be moving aggressively here um, soon, with um, a lot of those internal numbers not showing a lot of strength, um, you got to wonder here if we're starting to show a little bit of complacency. And so keep an eye on that as we continue to push back um, in this chart. We drop below that 20 handle and that is bullish. That's going to provide a resistance level if we do um, find some fear and, and push back up. But so far we're um, holding in this uh, pattern here um, nicely and continuing to sink. But I will, with some of these indicators out here not being so bullish it makes me wonder if we're becoming a little bit complacent here so watch that closely if fear were to spike up i'm afraid we could move pretty quickly so just kind of make sure that you have um, a good plan in place and i said this yesterday and i'm going to say this again if you've been if you've been losing consistently in the market it has been challenging it has been choppy please back away stand aside a little bit find out what's going on in your trading um, study what's going on in your trading and then come back with a better frame of mind because let's not keep losing money and i've been working with a lot of folks that have been struggling with that recently so this volatility has certainly been challenging and i kind of expect another dose of volatility if not this week next week to really um, crank things up here so watch carefully and then let's take a look at our t2122 now this one still gives me a little concern got a little heartburn on this one and that is that t2122 pushing back up here toward that uh, bearish reversal zone and a little bit of that oversold or excuse me overbought condition here in the market i didn't mean to move that that should be right there at 100 um so watch that closely as we continue to push um, this back up we're pressing into that resistance area of the chart of t2122 so we'll want to watch that carefully keep in mind we had a similar pattern that occurred right over here notice we kind of double topped right in here had a pretty nice pullback seesawed right back up before we came down so watch that carefully that possibility that we're stretching this rubber band a little bit too tightly and those bears could come in if they can find some inspiration so watch that closely let's take a look at our uh, t2108 now t2108 
Nice little improvement yesterday pushing up and I have been mentioning this. I've got to give this one to the bulls because they continue to hold higher prices here on the number of stocks above their 40 day moving average. I will say that I think we might have overextended in the short term, which would either require a pullback or more of a consolidation, which you know I'm kind of hoping for is the consolidation. So watch that carefully in here as we continue to challenge this upside area and we'll also want to watch some of these price support levels if we get some selling and we start breaking that back down through those levels in the chart. T2107 very much the same thing. Um, little little pullback yesterday. It wasn't the improvement that we were hoping for and this is just one of those signals out there showing that even though we had a nice little bullish rally, a lot of the sectors were very subdued. A lot of stocks very subdued yesterday. It was just tech led mostly. And a lot of stocks were just kind of drifting along sideways. And we can see that here in T2107 as we pulled back here just a little bit um, on T2107. But Having said that, we still have some pretty good support levels um, in that price action here that could hold us. So we'll want to watch that. If we can get inspired by the bulls, we could pop through there and hold and that may change everything here in the market. But if those bears were to be inspired and we reject this area once again, that could be problematic. So watch that close. T2101 um, continues, we continue with this relative low volume as we rally. So I'm not really sure we're getting some great information out of this. It's kind of hard to find momentum when we're not getting much follow through. If you guys have been trading long, you've probably been experiencing that. We'll get one one day moving in one direction and then we just can't seem to follow through and we end up pulling back. So um, momentum has been struggling here in the market and we can kind of see that in T2101. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And what I was talking about earlier is we have just a little bit to be paying attention to on that calendar today. We've got international trading goods. Now, what's interesting, you notice that that's marked in red. A red on the chart says it's a market mover. It could really, it can really move the market around. But what's been interesting is those trade deficits continue to widen, to get worse. We continue to set records in those trade deficits and the market doesn't care. We just don't care that um, our trade deficits are way out of whack here in the United States. But perhaps we continue to ignore um, today as well. So watch that closely. And then notice we have some Fed speakers in here. Now, those Fed speakers could be interesting. Um, and the reason I say they could be interesting, if they start talking a little bit more hawkish and if... Um, Brainerd um, continues to press for even more than a 50, per 50 basis point increase, as uh, they've kind of talked before, then um, we could see some volatility um, around um, that Fed speak if they start sounding more aggressive. And then keep in mind, I forgot to mention right in here, we've got the ISM services, probably not going to move the market around much at all. As you plan forward, remember we've got those FOMC min minutes coming on Wednesday and it's not odd that the market just kind of goes sideways and takes a break and consolidates a little bit as we wait for that data. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Now our earnings calendar, we've got about 30 companies on the calendar, but a lot of those are not confirmed report. So I came came up with a few notables here today. Um, AYI, AYI reporting, you might want to keep an eye on that. It's trying to perk up here this morning. Um, ARRY um, will also be reporting. I really like this pattern in here on this chart. Nice little rising pattern holding some, some, some support. This could be a critical um, earnings report to see whether or not we're going to break on higher or turn around and break down. So watch that closely. As you guys know, I've been talking about solar stocks and those alternative energies. We're seeing Brent crude rising again this morning. So it is possible we could see a little inspiration there. Let's take a look at um, LNDC. LNDC reporting today. We've got LNN. We've got NG. 
and then we'll get a report from SGH. Now, a lot of these, as you can see, rather small caps, um, not particularly notable, but um, yeah, obviously if you're holding them, it is important. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, you know what to do. Um, click that subscribe button on YouTube if this is the first time you've seen these videos, and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. If you find these videos to be useful, to be helpful to your trading day, if you could please do me that favor and also click that subscribe button or click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate all of the support of the channel, the good comments. Um, thank you so much, everyone. Um, you, you guys are awesome. And then let's take um, take a second here. And for those folks that continue to support the channel through Buy Me a Coffee, you guys, um, I can't I can't even express uh, my gratitude for that. You guys are, are fantastic and you've made it possible for me to start doing some of these live um, YouTube events and there'll be one coming this week. Just watch for that potential schedule. Let's take a look at some stock setting up and please keep in mind guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you better do your own due diligence and make sure you understand the risks of these trades and that you are planning very carefully. We have a volatile market. It is a challenging market. So make sure you understand the risk of every trade that you consider. First off, let's take a look at um, Plug. As you guys know, um, I've been talking about Plug here for a while and I continue to hold Plug. I've been in this trade for a while and boy, we got a nice surge yesterday to the upside um, here in Plug Power. So again, some of those alternative energies may be perking up just a little bit. So let's keep an eye on this. Let's watch this for any kind of of uh, consolidation rest or pullback and I would suspect it does have that possibility that it could continue to push on higher but I would expect such a big move on the day um, some kind of a rest consolidation or pullback is due um, in that chart but watch for that next opportunity in plug it's looking uh, pretty darn good you might want to also take a look at if you have any inclination toward those cannabis stocks um, take a look at like um, CGC, CGC trying to hold a little bit of a higher low. Now, keep in mind, these are still coming out of this downtrend, but we're holding that little higher low in here, showing some of that bullishness. And this happens to be one of those patterns that um, really plays out bullishly most of the time. And that's what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern where we hold this support in here. And I got to tell you, if you jump over to the Hit Run Candlesticks website, guys, um, my good friend and the um, the guy who put together the round of bottom uh, breakout pattern, Rick Sadler, with all of the rules, all of the guidelines, um, he will be teaching a class on that soon. So jump over there uh, to the website and see if that's of interest to you. Now watch this carefully in here. The the ultimate target is up here around the 200 day moving average on these. So watch that if we can hold this support and start moving to the upside here in um, some of these cannabis stocks. You'd also take a look at CRON, Crone. Um, it's holding that pattern, had a nice little bullish perk up yesterday and that possibility it could start moving up. TLRY might be another one that you want to keep an eye on, holding that higher low, that opportunity that that could move on through to the upside. So keep an eye on a few of those. Of course, a place we have to look because of the bullishness that we saw yesterday in tech is looking at some of those big techs. Um, Apple, very nice little morning star pattern here on that chart where we held this price support, held the downtrend. You'll want to keep an eye on this price resistance, however, if we can push through there. I got to tell you, some of these stocks, uh, considering the condition of the consumer right now, pretty remarkable how we continue to push to the upside. But watch that. I think there is that opportunity that might push right on through. And then, you know, of course, Microsoft. Um, um, holding in a very nice pattern, trying to break back up through some resistance, a good morning star pattern here in that hold. So watch that closely. Um, I've been seeing lots of conversation about AMD, how AMD is going to be the greatest thing going um, in this market ahead. But 
boy, just not yet for me. As you can see, we're trying to hold this downtrend as some support. And we've got a little teeny tiny bit of price support right in there on that chart. But let's keep in mind, we have a fairly significant level of price resistance above. So we could pop up in here in AMD and then just continue to turn right back around. So I'm going to need to see AMD kind of push through and hold some support up here. And then I might look for that upside in the chart. Let's take a look at some of the pay systems. Now I have a little bit of a bias on this one, guys. I picked up SQ yesterday probably a little bit early on this buy but watch that closely um, sq starting to hold up in that pattern looking pretty good and strong take a look at paypal paypal is also in that same kind of pattern looking bullish might want to keep an eye on those charts so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading thank you so much for being here i truly appreciate it and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care. Everybody.